Commander Brown. Damn, I thought I was a kid. I can't do the impression right. Oh. Oh. Kind of. Shannon. Okay, all right. What is up, guys? My name is Shannon, aka Cosmic Thing. So, welcome back to this space. Ooh. It's weird doing Ooh. it this way. Ooh, that's tactics. <laughs> Trust in the tactics. <laughs> Detroit. <laughs> I can't. Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll behave. I'll behave. I'll behave. I'll Will behave. You? Yes, I promise. I'll behave. I'm back with my husband. <laughs> Commander Brown. Matthew B. Hates. Matthew B. Hates. AKA the Clockmaster. <laughs> uh, we're back for another movie in the X-Men franchise. We're doing Deadpool 2 today. We got two more after this, I think. Two more, yeah. Yeah. Uh, we've both already seen this movie, but, but, because I know some of you guys came at me last time I watched Deadpool, it's been a while. I don't remember it, so. Yeah, I haven't seen this movie since the one time I've seen it in the theaters. I've seen it twice, technically. Yeah, I've only seen it one time. I don't really remember much of it. It was back in like 2018, so it's been a minute. I remember the gist of the plot. I yeah. kind of remember certain scenes, but I don't really. I just haven't seen it in a while, yeah, so it's been it, you a know, minute. It's been a little bit for yeah. for me. So there's not a first, even though the video says first time ish. Yeah. Watching. I mean, it technically is a first time ish because well, second time watching because. I haven't seen it since then. It was like 2018 this thing came out, so I haven't yeah, seen it since. Yeah, it's been a while. So. Yeah, so. Ish. Yeah. Yeah. But anyways. Um, so you got this big, comf big comfy hoodie on. Yeah, I do. And I'm just over here. In a t-shirt? In a t-shirt. It's all good, though. It's like negative, like 19. It's cold out It's like today. cold. Yeah. I think last I checked, it was warming up, guys. It was negative eight. <laughs> and we're sitting in different spots because uh yeah, we're, we're, um, we're watching on matthew's projector yeah i got a big uh, projector in the corner so yeah he requested that we watch it on the projector today. yeah we're, we're trying out a different angle so yeah. um i bought a whole new lens yesterday and that didn't really work out so here yeah, we are we're, we're trying things here yeah we're trying things but anyway any things uh yeah make sure you guys go check out matthew's channel link will be in the description below and he has itchy back. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> and make sure you guys like, subscribe, if you like what you see. Comment down below what your favorite part of the movie was. And make sure you to hit the notification bell if you want to get notified whenever I post. And if you want to see the full reaction, that will be up on Patreon. Link will also be in the description below. But yeah, guys, let's just get right into it. Uh, mm -hmm. Now you can understand that with the Logan yeah. tribute. Yeah. Uh, dang. Damn. Oh, why'd they do that? Yeah. That's not very nice. Fuck Wolverine. No. First, he rides my coattails with the R rating. Then the hairy <laughs> motherfucker ups the ante by dying. What a <laughs> dick. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Damn, bro. Jeez. Literally. Mm. Mm. Damn. Jeez. Damn. Imagine it being some random person in this. Right? Heels. <laughs> 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 oh my God. I forgot he was using him as like yeah. his damn getaway driver. Yeah. What? I have not <laughs> seen this. this movie. <clears throat> and said, I want some more. Uh, you mm -hmm. picture me a ten year old Kirsten Dunst. What? You're my Kristen Dunst. Kristen? Kirsten? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That always bugged me for a long time. Yeah. Kristen, Kirsten. <clears throat> Kerastine. Oh my gosh. Damn. Okay, at least you know she's not materialistic. No, but like just damn. <laughs> well, that's, that's just the 
forgot about that yeah. part. I don't know what he's saying. Wait, I don't even know what that is either. Oh, yeah. Yeah. No dick for brain. Wars. Men are destined to become their father. And then have consensual sex with their sister. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think so too. Yeah. No, oh, I'm pretty sure we've nailed her. <laughs> the point is, kids. Baby, what happened to that? Yeah. Me remembering about this whole damn thing. Mm -hmm. Me remembering about this whole damn thing. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. No, not even close enough, dude. Oh, God. Man, I forgot why I didn't watch this movie. <laughs> you know when the love interest yeah. gets bodied and mess me up. Yeah. Especially after, like, you know, talks like, oh, we're going to have a family. Yeah. Talk about their future, their kids. Oh, that guy was not going to have an easy death for me, bro. That was about to be the most painful thing. That sufferation. Oh, dude, I was going to freaking go John Wick on that guy. Jeez. I keep forgetting how strong he is. Oh, yeah. Dude, they freaking tackled the whole car. No, he's not one you want to piss off, man. No. But can you hear me? Do you want to build a snowman? Yep. Mm -hmm. Nobody fucking realizes. <laughs> I agree, <laughs> dude. <laughs> three days, okay? Jesus Christ, fuck! No more speaking lines for you. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> oh, <laughs> the end of bug speaking lines. Speak up. Damn. It's a little hard to hear you with that pity dick in your mouth. <laughs> Damn. You need to just keep living. Thank you. Yeah. I mean, sometimes you need someone to be blunt with you. Yeah. Yeah, every time he almost dies, he just can't. Yeah. I know that voice. <laughs> <laughs> this is your best friend. Rule <laughs> two. Label everything in the refrigerator. <laughs> <laughs> Wait. He lost him at no killing. Don't yep. to chase me. Not ready to be touched again. <laughs> All these elderly white men on the walls. Should have brought my rape whistle. Oh my god. Oh my god. Damaged after they fell there. What's supposed to do around here? Circle talk about my What do those do anyway? Three feet off the ground to snatch up the nearest. <laughs> yeah, they're all in there. <laughs> I forgot about that. God, I had no idea who that was. <laughs> the first time you watched it. Yeah. Second and more. Just accept it. <laughs> he needs it right now. Fine. I'll do it myself. <laughs> Dude, he's probably one of the best things, actually. Cable. Mm -hmm. So good. That's not how That's not cerebral, cerebral works. works. Yes. We, have we have mission. We do. <laughs> you stole that from Robocop. Robocop. Calm <laughs> down. You're embarrassing me. Look, fire, fire. Damn. Damn. Your head. Now. <laughs> what was through? Label everything in the refrigerator. <laughs> Rules are meant to be broken. Nice. <laughs> that works. I mean, I can't kill, so. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, from Colossal Sin. <laughs> He's so proud. <laughs> no, my. <laughs> what did you do? I mean, child abusers. Mm -hmm. You can always tell. We have rules. You are not judge, jury, or executioner. Well, he is today. I fight for the ball of foreshadowing. <laughs> Hope I don't know what you're saying. No, I think you do. Yeah, you know exactly what he's saying. I can hear you rummaging around in there. <laughs> Black Tom Cassie. White Wade Wilson. 
<laughs> Cultural appropriation. Supposed to be a... Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Sorry, kid. The second biggest guy. <laughs> Did you? It's like, dude, I'm trying to die. <laughs> Maybe even Black Tim. <laughs> Black Evan. I don't know. All I remember is he was African American. <laughs> Had to get the cape, bro. Of course. Every good superhero has a cape, Matthew. Even if they're a villain. <laughs> Even if they're a villain. <laughs> hey, every good villain has a cape. Magneto went out of his way to have a cape in every... <laughs> yeah, he did. Of course, everyone's sell, but there's... Love that right? shield. <laughs> Jeez. I don't know if I like him better as Thanos or as Cable. <laughs> you know, New's really been a Marvel villain twice. Right? A grumpy old fucker with a winter soldier arm. <laughs> Satisfying sound, though. I don't even remember what happened, but he was after him. Yeah, I remembered. I don't say anything, though. Bro, this poor kid really can't do anything. <laughs> Yo, this dude just came down and boom. <laughs> Yo, you really don't remember what happened. No, I don't. Mm. Jeez. I can imagine him. Look at his body, so, though. Yeah. I can imagine him being so pissed that it came off at that right? moment. Right? <laughs> <laughs> so funny, he said, I'm Venom. <laughs> See, I don't know what this does. Mm hmm. It's so casual. All right? That gun is OP as Jack. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I can tell you that. It's not. Yeah, not really. <laughs> Oof. I mean, it helps that he can't die. So. Yeah, but he's dying now and then just never does. Yeah. Team, even tough, morally flexible. I only remember one person from the team. Who? The lucky one. Zazi Beats? Yeah. <laughs> Just how he says it. His accent. I know. <laughs> oh, yeah, I freaking remember the team now. Oh my god. I forgot he was here. You <laughs> get <laughs> Ryan Reynolds from Canada. Hmm? Ryan Reynolds from Canada. Yeah. You're in. Yeah. Oh, Peter. <laughs> I would be mad too for the. Mm-hmm. Hey, those be dangerous, man. No, they do. Peter is, like, having a midlife crisis. Yes. He's like, I haven't done anything with my life. Maybe now's my time. Yep. <laughs> oh, I remember those Peter memes from back in the day, man. They were so great. <laughs> oh. Oh. Remember half the team gets taken out. <laughs> <laughs> Odyssey. No, she just doesn't get yeah get hit. Honestly, I really think luck is the best power. Yeah. Oh my god. <laughs> oh. <laughs> hey, look, can't get more luckier than that. Yeah. <laughs> Damn, bro, you really don't give a damn. Oh my god. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Literally. That's crazy. <laughs> Literally, that is so, in like, to me, it's just 
It's so insane. It really is, because, like, anything you need, you're good. Yeah, right? Yep, there's the look. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yep. <laughs> that shield is crazy. You killed Black Tom, you racist son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> I forgot about that line. And you have to bring that back from um, Origins. Yep. Yeah, it wasn't even going on here. <laughs> she just ate all the bullets. <laughs> Oof. That was your breaks. Damn. Russell's just over here like, thank you for being here. <laughs> Imagine, like, imagine that confidence, right? Imagine yeah. being able to get any job you want. Honestly, if I was that lucky, I would never worry about anything. Right? Mm. <laughs> that was you. That was you. <laughs> yeah. I hate that sound. No, I know you do. <laughs> <laughs> That's not a real rope. <laughs> He's smooth with it, though. He is. He's smooth with it, though. Zip it, black, black, <laughs> I'm flowing. The first one Yes. <laughs> He's a little big for a fan. Oh my god, the chapstick! <laughs> I'm sorry? Never said you were my no, I'm sorry that you said that while making heavy eye contact in a flight of bomb. <laughs> 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 Yeah. <laughs> Just a bit. Three years it's ugly. <laughs> Not a fucking racist moron. Tell that to Black Tom. He was like a brother. <laughs> I'm with the old white guy on this one. Baby balls looks like. Not a show. Right here. So this is the, the song to play. The rock and cause another big problem. Hi, Wayne. Hi, Yukio. Chateau de Virgin. Oh my goodness. Smooth. The duck save. <laughs> Fuck some shit up is my legal middle name. <laughs> <laughs> Check or not lit. Watch my man. Thanos, we have a deal at you. That cab driver right up your ass. Dang. Oh God, amazing. Mm -hmm. It really is. <laughs> oh, that's the, the Hulk thing. <laughs> so I'm getting real low. I think right. 30 seconds are kind of pass. <clears throat> you haven't technically killed anyone yet, though. So. <laughs> <laughs> Body in the back. Yeah. <laughs> this is the real love story. Yes. Well, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you get that no, one I too. That. Damn. Ooh. Yeah, it looks like it. See. <laughs> oh. Oh. See, damn, that's all you have to do. Yeah. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, that's all you need anyway. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> it's the brick. The sand. I love him throwing the sand up. It's great. Jeez. Damn. Mm-hmm. Mm. 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 Oh, damn. Only <laughs> together. <laughs> You're literally using a brick the whole time, too, though. Yeah. How convenient. 
Mana from heaven. <laughs> the thing I love about Juggernaut is that his name, his name really literally fits him. Mm -hmm. This guy's a freaking Juggernaut. <laughs> I freaking remember this! <laughs> Jeez. He's an understandably angered kid. Yeah. One more. Jeez. God, because I've been inside you. That came out wrong. Yeah. Barry. Which is also off. There you go. <laughs> I've been where you are. Yeah. There are Honestly, he real talk dumb for staying there. He could have ran away. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes, I did. Very much so. No, I hope the Academy's watching. <laughs> the Academy. Papa. <laughs> uh. Hey, Sabrina the Teenage Witch. <laughs> it has been a pleasure. Hi, Yukio. Hello. <laughs> Start it for me. <laughs> Just once. Come on, we'll do it together. It's no big deal. Here we go. One, two, three. Fuck. 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 Wow. <laughs> <laughs> like cow. Swamp mouth. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and you color their skin by the content of their character. Stop. Stop. No crow. Star dog. <laughs> Longest Remember the longest death, death team ever. <laughs> Probably like no time passes by over there. Mm -hmm. Probably like no time passes there. Yeah. Logan had his time. Huh? Logan had his time. I know. Well, if I was Deadpool, I would have been mad, though. Yeah. Because in this situation, he's actually happy. Like, he yeah. has a happy moment being ruined. You in high grade lead. Mm-hmm. You time sliding son of a bitch. <laughs> for me? Shit itself into oblivion. <laughs> oh, you did it for me. <laughs> <laughs> I think a little bit of you. I think a little bit of you did it for him. A tiny bit. Right, let's flip a coin. I have an idea. <laughs> no, 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 let's not do that. The butt let's pen saves the day. Die of cancer. Let's just. The pen is grosser than the sword. Seven. Settle down, Captain Lucky. It's not gonna be one number. <laughs> 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 Of lazy writing. <laughs> Don't hug me. <laughs> it's so funny because their like relationship in real life is just like this. I remember they did like a like a joking thing. Uh huh. <laughs> Maybe a little bit of bloodshed. <laughs> No, my guess. Set eleven. Genius ball. Keyboard works in mysterious ways. A good day. Bye, Lee. Bye, Kyo. Ha 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 
Turn up the lights in here. Yeah, again, quoting songs I never heard. How have you never heard that song? I don't know, maybe it's the way you're singing it. I just love this movie just because it's just Ryan Reynolds being Ryan Reynolds. Yeah, I mean, that's. But isn't that just any Ryan Reynolds movie, though? Not necessarily. I've yet to see him in a role where he's just not Ryan Reynolds. Like I, I, I just I think Ryan Reynolds is just the best at playing himself. Come on, Red Notice. Yeah. I mean, he was just yeah. Ryan. He was just like an Indiana Jones version of Ryan Reynolds. Yeah. <laughs> like. Yeah, I think it's just it's just Ryan Reynolds, man. He's great. He's always great. Now, are you watching this movie? I think I liked it more than the first one. Really? Maybe a little bit. Hmm. Maybe a little bit. I feel like the... I mean, the first one is just legendary. I mean, the first yeah. one is legendary. I mean... I, 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 okay. Okay. Sure, I was going to catch on that shot. Huh? And I just realized... I yeah, yeah. Head. You were, like, halfway out. But... No, I feel like... Most... What am I trying to say? I feel like, um... Both of them have, like, things that make them, like, equally, like, either really mm -hmm. good or, like, some things that are, like, maybe better in another, you know, in the other one and the other... So, I mean, I feel like there's a place, they're just kind of like neck and neck in yeah. terms of like, which ones I like more or whatever, but. No, they're both just great, man. Like, I don't think there is one necessarily better than the other, at least for me. Mm -hmm. so, I mean, they're both just up there. Like, they're just fun movies. Yeah. I mean, yeah. This is just a good sequel. Yeah. It's a really good sequel. I really like uh, I really like Josh Brolin as Cable. Oh yeah, no, he's great. He's amazing. Um, yeah, there's a lot of jokes in this movie that I completely forgot that were like yeah. hilarious. That really like maybe like like laugh laugh this time there's, around. <laughs> there's a lot of stuff that I didn't know before that now I do. Yeah, you can like, you can appreciate it now. Yeah. Like seeing the X Men in the yeah. room. Yeah. <laughs> like um, even like the Karate Kid reference. Yeah, the Karate Kid reference to sweeping the leg. Yeah. Yeah, every time you hear sweep the leg, just automatically, yeah. like, That's throw it back. Yeah, yeah, associated to to karate, the first karate kid. Like, yeah, because I, I only saw it, like, what, like a year ago? What? Like, karate kid? Oh, yeah, yeah, like about, yeah, 2020. It was 2020? Mm, was it before we moved? It was before. I think it was before, it said in 2021 then. Yeah, I think. Um, so I'll say early last year. I, Maybe 2020 I, I going into 2021. Yeah. It's all right. I'm, no, it's gonna bother me. No, I know. I was just trying to make sure to help yeah. me keep the video on track. No, we all, on we track. always have a way of like going. We have we both have a way of veering off. It too was far. a year ago. It was twenty twenty one. It was December of twenty twenty. So okay, so yeah, so yeah, a little over a year and a month ago. Yeah, so, yeah, but yeah. So yeah, um, yeah, I don't know. I really wanted to see like more of Yukio. Really? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel like, yeah, it could have been cool to see more. Yeah, because it's really cool like, you know, hi, Wade. Bye, Wade. Bye, Wade. Yeah, yeah. Like, she's just adorable. Yeah, and no, I like her powers. Yeah. Her hair was cool. Her costume was cool. Yeah. Would have been dope. And, like, uh, Negasonic, I feel like she would have been really cool to see more of, too. Yeah, Because I think her powers are really dope, so. I've always loved her character. Man, I'm afraid to watch New Mutants, dude. Yeah. I'm so afraid, because that's, like, the last X-Men thing we got. Yeah. So. For now. Yeah, I mean, I'm I'm afraid to watch it. Real talk. I was fairly satisfied with Dark Phoenix. Mm -hmm. I know a lot of people hated it, but you know, Hans Zimmer was that was actually his return uh, back to doing superhero films. Cause, oh, really? Yeah, because before, because before a little bit before that, he said he was done with them. That he was mm -hmm. kind of like not, you know, he because he did so much of them at that yeah. point, you know. I like, get to the back. Then. Yeah, <laughs> that was his um, because that honestly. That was the main reason why that drove me to watch it. They want really, because when he when they had announced that he was the one doing the score, I'm like, I'm <laughs> showing up. Consumer fanboy. Yep, consumer unapologetic consumer fanboy. I would have been like, I was like, yep, showing up just for Hans. No, and like, like the composer is a big like plus for you. Oh yeah, I the composer's like, a yeah. major like drawing point to yeah. me because I feel like some people who like 
I mean, I have some people, everybody who enjoys cinema, in, 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 you know, has a way of, not has a way, but has the one specific aspect of that that draws them to the film. Well, what, besides, like, casual, like, moviegoers. No, but even casual moviegoers. Like, I mean, every, a lot of people, I know yeah. for me, when I wasn't, I was, like, a teenager and stuff, it was just like, oh, this looks cool, let's go. But here, here's the thing where casual viewers come in. Actors. That's actresses never, that's never a thing for me no but i mean like look for maybe for not for you but like a lot of other people you know there's always something about a film whether because if you like the action it means you like the fight choreography mm -hmm. and that's an aspect of filmmaking right yeah so i do think there's just something about the movie in general about any movie even if it's a little thing like i mean i guess genre for me yeah genre that's yeah. a huge part of it so i mean but the thing is, I feel like most people are like, oh, okay, I'm only going to see Dunkirk because literally, like, you know. Because Harry Styles was in uh, it. Yeah, yeah. Like, you know, you know, one of. Only saw Eternals because Harry Styles was in it. Yeah. No, seriously. <laughs> yeah. Like, and people. And I mean, that's the, whole, that's the whole point of an of a famous actor at that point is to kind of draw people yeah. in. You know, because you're, you're. So for so some people, it's mainly the act. For most people, it's mainly the actors and the actresses that draw them in. Yeah. You um, love a good composer. I like the composer. Some people go for cinematography. So some people who really study, you know, cinematography, like, you know, um, Mr. Deakins, who did uh, 1917 and the James Bond, some of the James, Daniel, Daniel Craig James Bond films. Um, like one or two of my other friends, they are like really in, into cinematography, and like they only showed up to watch those movies because Deacons was the was the cinematographer. He's like an Academy Award winner, like for everything, like for a lot of stuff he's done. Very very like household name. So you know, and in my case, like Greg Fraser doing the Batman was a major selling point for me because he did Rogue One, which I really loved. He did Dune, which I really loved, and the Batman. I'm like I'm already sold. You know, yeah. apart from everything else, and obviously being a Batman fan and right. just DC in general. You know, Greg Fraser also was like an icing on the, on the on the cake for me, and then Matt Reeves directing. Some people go for directors, you know. This goes on, you know. So, I mean, I feel like you know, with um with movies like this, you just have to, you know everyone just finds a reason that they can just you know for some reason that they'll like it, um to go you know go go to the film and yeah oh that's fine yeah yeah to go to the film and watch it and you know yeah no definitely um i forgot the point i was trying to make but by bringing that yeah up, i don't remember but... either <laughs> <laughs> i don't remember the point i was trying to make but you're made it when i made the point whatever it is <laughs> i don't even remember what you were saying. no i don't remember what i was why i brought that up in the first place you were just going off or saying something about um cinematographers and dark phoenix there it is there it is. bring it back to dark phoenix yeah so over explanation for my point that is the main reason that, why I went. That's the basis of your channel. What's that over explanations? <laughs> <laughs> hey, look. <laughs> there, there's a fast forward button um, or skip or exit. That's why my watch time is only like five minutes. <laughs> oh, and, that, and, that, and, and that's being generous. Um, but no, yeah. I mean, anyways, point was made. Yeah. So I went to I went to Dark Phoenix for for Hans Zimmer and and then I was like, you know what? It's the last X Men movie under under fox before the merger like might as well just you know just yeah. see how they decide to wrap well it wasn't the last one sorry new mutant because at the time we didn't even know if we were still going to get it it was this back and forth we're like okay it was delayed is it still being made yeah, what's going to happen right? was it i think so that i seen dark phoenix no no new mutants. oh new mutants yeah yeah i think yeah. that might have been in the beginning of 2020 that yeah. that, that one came out so i mean yeah, man. It, yeah, it was. I haven't seen it. I still haven't seen New Mutants, so that's gonna be like literally a first time for both of us watching that. So, um, so yeah. yeah. I mean, that's that's the point I was just trying to make with yeah. all of that. But yeah. No, uh, I want to know if they're actually going to bring, um, Deadpool officially into the MCU. I mean, they they did though. Well, they no, did. like that in a in a movie. Thing. Oh yeah, I mean, it's gonna come up. I, I feel like there's gonna be a way to do it. Yeah, that's gonna be know? a big win too. Yeah, when they're gonna do it, how they're gonna do it, but I mean, it's official now. Oh well, yeah, but so, like in a movie format. Yeah, and no, I got two more series. He's with, he's with um one of my favorite characters. Oh, <laughs> Korg. My name is Korg. I love Korg, man. <laughs> oh man, I yeah. Love Korg. Maybe maybe Thor: Love and Thunder. That'd be a great maybe. movie. Maybe. Especially that would be great because, um, he he already has a bond with Korg, mm -hmm. just from that one them redoing really? the reaction. Be like, oh yeah, I have, I have a friend. Yeah, I have a friend. He might be able to help. You might be able to help. That's 
Ford accent. <laughs> mine, mine is no better, but <laughs> you're better at accents than I am. Yeah, I'm okay. Cause I could, you're better than I am. Hey, I could be better. <laughs> I could be better. My impressions are normally like two out of five, easy. <laughs> What am I, negative 10? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> Maybe a one and a half. I'm being too nice to myself. But no, yeah, no, I mean, I feel like Thor, Love, and Thunder could be a good way yeah, to introduce him. Doctor Strange, people have seen Doctor Strange, but it's too serious of a film to, 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 to have that one. In, yeah. I mean, but you know, Doctor Strange might have some moments of comedy. You know, they always try to find a weird way of yeah. throwing some small it, bit of comedy. It's usually, like, very few and far between, but I don't think Deadpool would fit in that. Maybe if he doesn't say anything, maybe what if he Doctor Strange opens a portal and Deadpool is just there, like what the? And then he just closes yeah, it. Yeah, that could be a thing. Or too. that could be their way of doing it. Yeah, you know, be a little harmless little joke. Yeah, there's a lot of like rumored cameos mm -hmm. for um, Doctor Strange. So oh yeah, plenty because it's multiverse of madness. Like I cannot wait for that damn movie to come out. Ah, man, it's crazy. <laughs> That's gonna be insane. that might be movie of the year. Honestly, that one might be. Yeah, that one might be. That's yeah. That's because I was gonna think because I would love to say the Batman, but the MCU triumphs over DC films, unfortunately. And, yeah. and, and you know, I, I feel like Marvel knows how to build an overall universe better because I feel like they don't. You like, about to go down a rap. You about to go down. Let a whole, me know. Let yeah, me you about to go down a whole thing because this could be like a whole. That's a whole video. Yeah. That's literally a whole video because, yeah, no, let me not even touch on it. But yeah. I, I, I do get what you're trying to say. Yeah. Um, right now DC, just to. There is no DC like full universe, right? There is, but there isn't, and it's like they're trying to do their. All right now, DC is just riding the wave. Yeah. Making solo films, whatever. I just feel keep like doing they that. just need a refresh. Yeah, just keep. But, well, I think that's what they're trying to do. But anyway, bring it back yeah. to yeah. Well, um, trying to think what else because there was a lot. But... This is high because you're gonna have to do um maybe maybe a, a video idea for you ranking all the X Men movies. Yeah, I'm gonna, have to, I'm gonna have to go rewatch my reactions <laughs> to remember some of this because it's been a while for some of these. Yeah, for me, when I want to remember a film, I just read the synopsis, and then I'm like, okay, I remember. I, I, well, yeah, like, I do that, and then something just kind of unlocks in my brain, and then I just remember. I don't remember, like, my thoughts about it right after watching it. I feel you like that helps me. You don't remember how you felt in a moment when you saw something for the first no. time? Really? No, I struggle with that To this lot. day, I still remember how I felt when I watched Red Room with Jennifer Lawrence. I've only seen that film one time in the theaters. You've never seen that? Yeah. I was confused excited uh weird and turned on at the same time um sir <laughs> dude this is way back when this movie is old sir dude they had a freaking scene in that film you haven't seen it no they had a scene in that film okay that was very interesting okay so we'll have to discuss that after uh yeah <laughs> But anyone who's seen that film knows what I'm talking about. So okay. But that's how I felt at the time. I remember how I felt. Yeah, so. I don't really like, especially if I watch a lot of stuff like back to back. It kind of gets a little muddled sometimes. Cause we, we've been doing X Men since when? Like September. Mm. September October? No, September. No. I guess for me, oh, excuse me, I had a little chill. Yeah, no, um, I think for me, I kind of, like, maybe associate it with, like, moments, like, how I, like, with, with things that happened in that moment, so, like, I'll never forget when I first watched Lord of the Rings, I was, um, I was just really confused, because I didn't know what the hell happened, I walked in, my uncle was watching it, as he, or he, as he normally does, mm -hmm. like, traditionally, like, but, like, guys, like, sidebar, like, every year, my uncle always puts on Lord of the Rings for, like, literally no reason just to watch it, so I walked in, and I think it was, it wasn't, it wasn't actually the Fellowship of the Rings. I think it was actually the, the last one. I think it was just Return of the King, right? And I'm like, well, freaking spoiler, but I don't understand what's going on. But I remember watching it, and I'm like, whoa, this is freaking cool. Like, they got all these, like, fantasy stuff, and I'll never forget. No, 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 no. It wasn't, um, it wasn't Return of the King. It was, um, uh, the two, the two towers. And... Uh, it was stuff with 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 Gollum, which I won't go into because you haven't seen that yet. Yeah. But there was just certain that, scenes. That's a coming reaction. Yeah, coming reaction. You haven't seen those. So like, there was um something that happened in that in that movie that I, I I'll never forget. Like just Schmeagol and his whole thing and Gollum, and I will never just forget. I will never forget that. Like just how I felt. Can't really elaborate because of spoilers, yeah. but I'll never forget those moments. 
um, when I first saw it. And then there was a game that didn't work. Um, it was like a PC game of the Lord of the Rings thing. And it just wouldn't work on a computer that he had at the time because mm -hmm. the temerity was just like so low. And it would it just wouldn't work. So I tried to load that game so many times and like it just didn't have the space to even download it. And I remember being so mad. I just wanted to play that game because I just thought the Lord of the Rings looked cool. Yeah. So I mean that was that. Harry Potter. Um, I watched those with my patrons back when um when uh Rabbit was a thing. Oh my gosh, yeah. So we all watched that together and I, I remember being like, This is so corny in the first one, because you know it was made for kids. <laughs> yeah. And then but Point. I can I can elaborate, but like I just kind of associate it. Like you see how I brought it back with rabbit. Yeah, no. Um, then... I like if I go back, like with even with Deadpool, like as time goes on, like stuff starts coming back, and be like, oh yeah, I remember thinking this was hilarious. But like if I think about it right now, mm. I'm like I'm not gonna remember it. Like I'm not gonna remember every single detail of the film or every single detail or but I remember the I remember the overall emotion that I had or the overall like feeling I had about the movie. Yeah, like I can remember. I remember if I, if I liked it or didn't like yeah, it. Yeah, or... I can remember that, but I don't remember like the specific like details of like stuff I said or how yeah. I Yeah. I mean everybody so, everybody's different. Yeah. So, I mean, it's just for some reason, my brain is just kind of wired like that. So yeah. for me, that's just what it is. But I mean, I get it. Yeah, I just have a bad memory. I think that's what it comes down to. You're not eating enough walnuts. I'm sorry. You want to <laughs> buy me some walnuts to eat? Will you actually eat it, though? I, do, that... I love walnuts. Do you? I do. Wow. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were going to find that out in a Deadpool video. <laughs> I told you I liked walnuts. Did you? Yeah, I remember when we were at the store. That I don't remember. See? So... You're not eating enough walnuts either. <laughs> <laughs> See what you did there. <laughs> hey, good one, good one. Good comeback. Yeah. Right now, but yeah. Yeah, um, I don't know if you have anything else to say or... Um, no, I mean, just, I mean, because obviously this wasn't our first time watching it, so there's not yeah. a whole lot to break down, but um, I, I felt, ah, I mean, I should have brought this up earlier, because that would have been a stepping stone for the whole conversation, but I felt everything with Cable and, his, you know, his story with his kid and his wife and everything was, it really brought into perspective, um good versus evil decision making and stuff mm -hmm. like every time there's a child involved and you know that it can like save the entire world you always ask that question with um you know like that question you would ask um would you kill two people to save the train yeah the, or would you like would you kill two people to save the train no like the people on the train you know what i'm saying like the people on the train okay but i didn't elaborate because most people know that example i know but just just how you said it oh i hate i didn't elaborate because most people know it's the train save the train <laughs> to save the people on the train yeah, yeah i know it, or would you sacrifice the people on the train to save, save two people a two it's usually children or what it, well, the, the examples i got weren't, weren't kids they were normally just like well, wood, yeah, workers, I or like, like a tri people who were working on the on the, yeah. on the track or whatever yeah, so you know the whole morality question. morality thing yeah like ethics spoilers for um for for peacemaker i mean by the time this is up people most likely already saw it but if you haven't seen peacemaker yet by any for any reason yet um there was that kind of thing happened where like peacemaker was faced with the choice of having to kill a child um to basically save everybody yeah or to not do it you know so yeah you always get those things and it's such a conflicting thing i could never imagine being in that position but like cable was just like nah man freak them kids like i got like like well yeah like, it's I'm like dead, i know? know what you turn into mm -hmm. i don't like there there's obviously not another way so and you killed my kid so. exactly and i feel like it was a really cool uh thing uh growth for deadpool too as a character because mm -hmm. he's still deadpool but it was just like he saw a bit of himself in that kid yeah and was like, you know, he wasn't, a, um, uh, he doesn't know what it's like to be a mutant kid, but he knows what, it, what it's like to be a kid that was left, on, that was like left and slept on and like, mm -hmm. you know, poorly treated or whatever, or tortured yeah. or whatever. So he knows what it's like to be him in that sense. And not feel seen. And not feel seen yeah. or heard or loved or appreciated or yeah. whatever. So he understands that. So he, he really stuck his neck out for that kid. And um, so I mean, I think like besides all the jokes and all that, has really deep messages, and you can yeah. find pretty deep messages in almost anything if it's if it's serious enough. Mm -hmm. Um, if it's just all nonsense, then it's hard to do that. But <laughs> you know, a movie like this, I feel like you can find bits and pieces of like, um, you know, deep stuff to deep deep yeah. truths in them. Yeah, and so. I know a lot of these comedy movies where like people have like trauma and they joke about it. 
Yeah. There's there's a lot to it. Like Ryan Reynolds needs to stop playing characters that has trauma, man. But he's good at it. In Red Notice was literally that. Yeah. Bad dad. Yeah. You know, and he jokes it off. That's just how Ryan Reynolds is. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's no different than Free Guy, and I haven't seen Free Guy yet. Yeah, I haven't seen it either. So, but yeah. 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 Anyways, um, make sure you guys go check out Matthew's channel. Link will be in the description below. And yeah, make sure you guys like, subscribe, like what you see, comment down below what your favorite part of the movie was, and make sure to hit the notification bell if you want to get notified whenever I post. And if you want to see the full reaction, make sure to head on over to Patreon. Link will also be in the description below. But that's it for us. We'll see you guys next time. Bye!